Hello friends, welcome to webscript.info and I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel and now I'm going to continue our video series based on Laravel, right? So we are done with the blade templating engine and we are done with the migration files, we are done with the controllers. Sorry, not controllers, we are done with the models. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create controllers and there are different ways of creating controllers. So let's begin. Here, here we go and this is our uh, layout right and before starting to work with the uh, controller let's uh, change the, this fixed snap bar so you can simply write anything here and that will be reflected here and in laravel way what we can do here you can see we have this uh, crud project folder inside we have the uh, app folder and not app folder in Within this curve, curve folder, we have config folder. Go inside, and you can see we have a, a config.php file, right? App.php file. So inside config folder, we have app.php file, and here we have name. And the app name is simply Laravel, right? So I'm just going to get this name from here to our template. So remove this. Uh, type the function config so this is a kind of helper and say app dot link save it uh, just to save all and our uh, server is already running here so refresh it and you can see we have a name laravel so this is because of uh, this name laravel we have so I'm just going to uh, uh, comment this line and uh, I will say once again name and I will type here student enrollment system save and uh, let's go back to the web page refresh Okay, uncount runtime packet uh, root has not been set. Something wrong. Okay, you can see we have uh, the title uh, student enrollment system and it's a little big, not looking good. Remove the system. We have a strain enrollment, uh, home or content, that's it. So let's create our controller. Go here, uh, open the command prompt, stop the server for a while. And uh, what you can type here, you can type uh, php artisan and mic colon controller and name of the controller. So I'm going to create a student controller first student controller give it a correct name to make a difference between the model and controller so php artisan make colon controller and controller name hit enter now you can see our controller is created and what where we can see the, our controller inside this app folder then within this http folder and here we have controllers folder and here you can see we have a student controller right and this is one way of creating controller uh, and here we can define few uh, functions which is available inside this controller and our controller is extending this controller those methods are index methods store method update so you can write here a public function index like this we have uh, four other methods uh, update delete um, update destroy edit so these methods and uh, and the another way of getting this controller with all those methods that are also called resources so just delete this file and so i have deleted that file and i'm going to create once again the controller with resources type hyphen hyphen resources hit enter 
so hyphen hyphen uh, resources something wrong with our command i think s is not required hyphen hyphen resource hit enter so now you can see the our controller is created successfully go inside string controller and this is extending the controller and overriding all the methods of this controller class here public function index public function create public function store public function show edit update destroy so we have all the methods now i'm going to show you once one more time uh, in a different way uh, what we can include so we have this namespace controllers and we are importing a request class to get the input uh, from the form fields so let's delete once again because here we required a uh, we required a student model in this controller we required a student model to retrieve the data from the student model and to save the data inside a model or you can say the table so let's delete it once again and let's recreate controller now this time uh, we have given hyphen hyphen resources and hyphen hyphen model and name of the model which you want to import inside this controller so i just simply want to import student model because it's a student controller now our controller is created once again and here you can see we have this one line statement uh, for this i just use i just recreated our controller you can simply type use or to import this student controller a uh, model inside this controller so we are done and we can call all these functions from the uh, route file that is the web.php here so we can simply say route r o u t route and uh, okay simply we already have this the home route the url this and this here we are loading the view file so instead of passing a closer inside this we can say the controller where uh, he needs to uh, where he needs to go so we can say the name of the controller student controller and uh, how to call the method inside this controller using a student controller class with at the rate symbol and name of the method which you want to call call so first i want to call index method that's the uh, common thing so i will call first uh, whenever our route is this then we will call the index method inside this student controller and in our student controller here index i will simply do the same thing return view and here i will type this show student.blade.php show student sorry show student uh, without extension save it and let's rerun our file okay we need to start the server php artisan so so it's started let's rerun it and the same thing happened but this time not because of closer it's a controller from the index method web.php right you can see here route get and it's loading the index method simply we can uh, load other uh, method we can call other methods using this route get and uh, if you want to uh, call this uh, create method uh, of this student controller class so you can say simply here uh, you can specify any name whatever you want uh, let's say add student forward slash controller name and the method name we want to call we want to call create method save so whenever we uh, give this forward slash add student then it will call the create method inside a student controller and for example return you called create so refresh it and 
say add student hit enter and you can see we have the message you called create in this way laravel works right so now you are understanding how everything we can connect with each others so it's working fine similar uh, we can uh, write n number of functions within our controller and we can call uh, we can make a request to that function to get the data uh, using the routes so simply just in this way we can create the functions we can call the uh, methods inside the controllers and there are one uh, amazing way uh, laravel provides us for uh, if you do something like that route first let me show you one thing save it and open the command prompt stop your server and say php artisan and uh, route colon list hit enter so you can see uh, we have a uh, routes few routes the first route this one is where that is the index we have created this route you can see student controller at index method and the route is forward slash so this is here this is the forward slash and calling the method index then we have add a student which we have created just now add a student route and calling the create method so here you can see calling the create method this is api user call this is different from uh, 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 it is for api uh, from the laravel we haven't created it yet then we have another app so these two will always be available but these two we have created right so what we can do if we say route colon resource so what we have just uh, we have resources index create inside the controller so there for that we have a function uh, a static function resource and uh, name that this route student and uh, controller name student student controller that's it the say like this a student and student controller that's enough and save it let's uh, rerun our route php artisan route and then you can see the list of routes hit enter and you can see we have uh, these forward slash route we uh, we have created add a student we have and api api user app this is from the laravel and then we have student this is for index right so this is this one is same uh, index this is from the resource method we have used just now then again we have another route student so the difference between this route and this route is how we can make a difference this is a get request and this is a post request so we'll have to say it's a post request so generally we can use uh, this route within the form when we are going to store our data then we have create that is also a get request student forward slash create then a student forward slash this these curly braces in uh, expects one id and that is going to show something calling the show method and don't worry uh, if you're not uh, getting my point just uh, just in a moment or in the next video you will understand these routes very well so for this video this is all about uh, controllers with route and what are the relation between the routes and the controller resources and the different ways of creating controllers so thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comment section uh, what you are feeling and uh, am i clear to you my explanation needs more uh, improvement just let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe